What is up everyone? Welcome to today's reaction video. And if you're seeing this introduction, it means that this video was filmed as part of our monthly Patreon live stream. Uh, all that means for any new viewers to the channel is that any time throughout the video that you might see, once I've paused the video to make comments, you might see a little cut or a little uh, edit there. All that that means is I've taken a moment to interact with my live chat and then come back to the reaction. Uh, it, you haven't missed anything in terms of the reaction itself. I will always pick up from where I'm up to or just before it. So you haven't missed out on anything. It just is time for me to engage with the chat and continue the party that we absolutely have during every one of these live reaction streams. So we're going to get in today's re to today's reaction. But before we do, please check out the original in the link below once you're done here. And if you want to be a part of these live reactions in future, check me out over on my Patreon. But without further ado, let's get into today's video. We are going to, we're going to get into this one, you guys. Uh, Anna Carolina and Sue Jorge. And I'm not going to pronounce the Brazilian name, but it is the blower's daughter. Let's go. Good old Ace and... Isso aí, como a gente achou que ia ser a vida tão simples é boa, quase sempre. She has such a beautiful, beautiful voice, and it's so much deeper than I expect like a female singer's voice to be you don't get a lot of female artists that choose to sing in this kind of a deeper register. And it sounds so gorgeous when they do. She has an absolutely stunning voice. Uh, let's go back. Can't wait to hear more of it. Let's go. Os passos vão pelas ruas Ninguém reparou na lua A vida sempre continua It's so amazing to me, the fact that, like, I've reacted to a few different songs in different languages now, and some of them that have had the lyrics up on the screen Others, I haven't had the lyrics for them. It's amazing the images that music and a person's tone of voice and the way that they sing, the images that can conjure up in your brain and the kind of journey it can send you on when you have no idea what the person's actually singing. Because it's it's almost like that thing of like a lot of people say that when you go and see an opera, you don't know what they're singing because it's often in another language, but you still know the storyline by what's being acted on stage. It's a similar thing to that. I feel like you still get the all the emotions and all of the feeling through in the song, even if you don't know what they're singing. And this is just giving me kind of, it, it gives such a, it, it, I, I, don't, I don't think this is a sad song at all. This is giving a kind of a happy uh, smile and kind of rock from side to side kind of vibes. And her voice is just stunning. I, I'm loving everything about this so far. Big, big change from the last two songs, that's for sure. But I, I am adoring this. I don't I don't even know what to say about that her vocals just then man that was absolutely nuts 
And what I was just saying about like the emotion and I feel like you can pick up on the emotion. There was an emotional shift there in the way that she sung that bit. She had the cry in her voice, the break in her voice. I kind of want to hear that whole section again. I'm sorry, I'm going to take it back because that was gorgeous. See, everything feels okay. Come on. That note that she does at the end there is gorgeous, but I didn't go back far enough for the part that I wanted. I can't tell you guys how often I go back through a song looking for a particular part and just can't find it, so I just keep moving. <laughs> There's been so many times where I'm like, I want to go back to that part, and I scroll back and scroll back and scroll back, and I'm like, I've tried three times to hit on the part that I was looking for. We're just going to keep going. Either way, uh, it felt like the song shifted from everything was sweet and peaceful and beautiful into this emotion in there and this little cry in her voice and it seemed to be a shift. I would love to know what the lyrics to this song are. I'm going to look it up after this because I don't want to stop midstream and look them up, but hell, this is this is a crazy song just from her vocals alone. Não sei parar. Right there. Oh. De te olhar. The look, the look that they just gave each other was gorgeous. I don't know who, like, I don't know who these people are to each other, whether they're just artists who respect each other like crazy or what is going on, but the look they just gave each other was just absolutely beautiful. That was gorgeous. Um, I'm so curious as to what this song's about. Also, I'm put it out there for those of you who have watched the, uh, the reaction to Across the Universe. These two give me the vibes of the, uh, the landlady who's a singer and the guy who's her guitarist and how they kind of come together to sing again at the end. It's giving me their vibes. I don't know. It's it just something about it is just like on point for that. His voice there. I'm going to pause right away and go back so I don't miss replaying that because my God. He seems to do it so effortlessly as well. Like he did, he, his, he was, he didn't even seem to be straining there. It just seemed like throwing his head back and singing a little note. And he came out with that kind of, Wow, it's, it's bonkers. If you all know what this song is about, what this rough story of it is, even just a really basic, it's a love song, it's a breakup song, it's a heartbreak, whatever it is, 
because I'm getting love song vibes from it. Even the parts that have these emotional cries in them, I'm still getting love song vibes. And maybe it's just the way that these two are performing it on stage. Oh, Todd sent through the lyrics. Excellent. I can't wait to read those later. Uh, but yeah, I, I, I get love song vibes from it just from the performance, just from how beautiful it is. But I could be way off because like I said, there's these cries in their voices occasionally. It just feels like a little bit of heartache in there. But that could just be, it, it could just be me not understanding the language. But let's keep going with this. Actually, sorry, we're taking that back because I definitely want to see some of that again. like the little echo that was on her voice there. And on top of that, it, it amazes me. I said, it, I said it in the Peter Hollands one as well, but this, this is the same thing. It amazes me when two singers find each other who are not only so incredibly talented in their own right, but then coming together sound fantastic together. Like she has, it, it feels like she has the perfect voice to be singing with him. You could not, have picked a better art, female artist to sing with him and you could not have picked a better male artist to pair with her. They sound brilliant together. That entire big note they did there that I took it back for to get the full thing of it is stunning. <laughs> Saiba dizer a verdade É isso aí Yo, I couldn't, I could not, I could not pause that at the end there. I wanted to pause so many times for that last bit, but there was no way I could interrupt that lot. They sounded so good together in that end bit there. And something about their voices together there made me feel so emotional and hits in such a deep way. And it felt like the entire song had just brilliantly built to that point of their voices melding so gorgeously together. The note that Anna did at the end there was stunning. And they just complement each other so, so well. It, it's incredible to me that both of their voices, in it, like completely individually, both of their voices 
I don't think I've heard another artist that sounds anything like either of them. I could not tell you right now another female artist that sounds like Anna. And the same goes for, I believe his name's pronounced Sue. I I don't think I could tell you another artist that sounds exactly like him or even close to it. They have such unique and distinctive voices. And to find that and find another artist who your unique distinctive sound works so well with is nuts. So many things fell into exactly the right place for this song to come together the way that it did. And it was gorgeous because of that. I can't wait to read the lyrics and find out the full vibe of what this song is about, but that was absolutely stunning. I loved it so much. Thank you guys all so, so much for watching today's reaction video. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, please leave a like and a comment below and also subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Uh, the channel's growing so, so fast and it all means so much to me. So please subscribe if you haven't. Uh, also check out the original video from today's reaction in the link below. Go and give it some love and some likes because it so, so deserves it. Uh, furthermore, if you want to be a part of these live streams in future and have your song suggest suggestions be a part of the live stream, check me out over on Patreon. Uh, we have tiers over there for voting in the weekly polls, TV show reactions, movie reactions, these live streams, and also monthly reaction requests that are guaranteed for you that you will have seen in the past with the shout outs on them. Uh, so check me out over on Patreon. Other than that, I will be back tomorrow with another reaction video. Till then, have a great day, night, morning, evening, afternoon, all of that good stuff, and I'll see you next time. Bye.